raida mfuke uri bontshitse ntho ile nngwe enka le sopisa nyona hore hakaba a khesula motho hakaba a kgetha motho ke re baldi le ya ka ke bala ke re hai hore le ke le tsejwe hore le ba rutu wa ba ka ke ha le ratana i met her at a very young age she was uh, befriended to my uh, to my uncle big boy kholani i was think i was around 7 or, or, or so um, from there on, I, I used to admire Rara, and then luckily, like I said, I got closer to to, to Rara in '85. He would guide you whilst playing. Utlau guide and saba palamorau. La when say inge wrong, he will tell you nasa party and everything so that you can correct it immediately. Lane rito mokopana. In the down to earth, Ryder's skill was without doubt. He was a people's man. He knew how to talk to people. He had the art of listening. He always listened carefully before he made opinion. He was highly disciplined, highly. He respected time and uh, he was committed even in terms of training session. And that, to me, that was an outstanding quality. You must remember at Kaza Chiefs, there, there were many, many excellent players. So to lead those players was a needed fantastic people skills. You know, I used to preach, uh, discipline used to preach, you know, for us to work hard in whatever assignment we are, you know, given. What I've learned from Ryder as a person is uh, you got to be consistent in, in, in looking after the people that you work for and it will pay off in return. Eh? Rada, you know, had uh, this uh, high work ethic attitude. He always believed that when you start a thing, it must come to fruition. So I've learned that to him, that whatever you start in life, make sure that you complete it. Whether you're on the field or on the training ground or in the office, you must be the same person. Your philosophy has got to be the same throughout, and that was Ryder's asset. As it is, uh, our teammates like Bob Bull, Bob Buk, he would call me. 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 He I cannot have any specific contribution other than him being passionate of producing quality players, sound players mentally, physically, and even spiritually. And I think if you would ask a number of the players that he coached at development level, they'll tell you that he was highly disciplined and he was more of a perfectionist than anything else that you can ever think of. There's the omniscient, there's the omnipresent, the almighty. He's taking a decision to invite Coach Ryder to heaven. Let's accept that, let's be consoled. And let's keep on praying. Prayer will see us through all the difficulties in this world. <laughs>